Hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial by Studio IC. Uh, this time we're going to dive into Edge Animation, a piece of software by Adobe, which I ran into a couple of weeks ago, I guess, um, but when I was looking at my application folder with my Creative Cloud um, uh, account. First of all, what is Edge? Edge is um, an animation software for the web, which not creates Flash files, but it creates HTML files in JavaScript. Which is cool, because uh, the functionalities are very familiar to old-fashioned Flash animations. I mean animations, it's not as complex and it's not as big as Flash with action script and all kinds of uh, server-side um, information that you can um, uh, provide to Flash files. So, I decided to make a little test out of this and I want to share this test with you in a simple, simple Edge tutorial. So if you're ready, we're going to dive right into this and uh, get started. First of all, Photoshop. This is Photoshop and I created a little bit of a banner um, uh, that I want to animate in Edge. Pretty simple animation, pretty simple banner. It's for the Winter Sports 2013, so everybody who likes to uh, have fun in the snow has to order immediately. And I created this in uh, my own language, in Dutch. Uh, that's my main language, So, but I think that for the purpose of this tutorial it doesn't matter anyhow. As you can see on the right side in uh, Photoshop, you can see I got a couple of layers build up there. They're all um, um, they're all created or in Illustrator or um, in Photoshop. It's, it's pieces of photos or text, stuff like that. And I want to animate all this stuff in Edge. The first thing I need to do is um, uh, in Photoshop export all these layers as separate files because I need uh, separate files in Edge that I can put as layers on top of each other. So I need PNGs for the whole deal. Every, every layer has to be a PNG in Edge. And it means basically that you need to export your layers as separate files. And that's something that you can do in Photoshop very, very easily. You go to File and you go to Scripts. And within Scripts you got Export Layers to Files. That's all you need to do. Then you get a very old-fashioned Photoshop panel. So I guess this um, script is in there for quite a long time. But it's, it's going to be a very handy script. Watch me do this. You're going to browse to uh, the folder that you want them into. Tutorials Live in this case. I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to give it a name, Winner Sports 1, which I already did. And I want to export him as PNG24, because I want to have the transparency on, so that I can put layers on top of each other without having whites or other background effects in there. And then I'm going to run the script. Here we go. You see every layer is going to be dealt with separately. And at the end, export layers to files was successful. Click on OK and basically at this moment you are done in Photoshop. We can dive into Edge Animation from here on. OK, this is Edge Animation 1.0. On the left side you got the, uh, the normal options, open files, create new files. And it's going to give you some uh, suggestions of files that you used before. As you can see I fumbled around with this tutorial before but that doesn't matter anyhow. And on the right side you got uh, your lessons. So if you're not familiar with animation, if you're not familiar with how to animate in Flash, or in After Effects, or you don't know, don't know nothing at all, it's very recommendable for you to walk through these lessons. That's something that is really handy. But we're going to create a new file for our project. Here we go. This is the interface of Edge, and what immediately occurs to me is that on the left side is a panel that looks very much like a Flash panel. And on the downside is Stage. Stage is a typical Flash name, where all the layers are going to be, and there are going to be some panels there on the right side which I'm not going to dive into that deep for this tutorial. And next to that you got your lessons again, which you saw on the introduction screen. So, first of all, I'm going to change the width of my stage, because I want him a thousand pixels wide and 400 pixels high for my animation. My stage is now set, and the next thing I have to do is import all my PNGs. Here we go. All my PNGs are in there, you see, every layer is a PNG. The last one is a white layer, which I don't, no, I'm not going to use, so it's going to be in there, and we're going to select the other ones, and I'm going to import them all. Immediately, as you notice, these layers are going to be here on your stage. They're not going to be in the library or anything, they're going to be on your stage. And the funny thing is, and something that's not very handy in my view, is the fact that the layers are on your stage reversed. I mean, I probably can help that, undo that with changing the layers' positions and 
in Photoshop, but you know, it's, it's, it's weird. I mean, come on, if you're the layer that is on top, has to be on top here. But that didn't work, so I thought, okay, no problem, I'm gonna move these layers around and pick up the layer that's basically on top. It has to be on the bottom of my project and move it around, but it didn't work here on stage. So you cannot move layers on stage. Weird, but it's true. You have to do this here in Elements. And there we go. We're gonna move them down, and that's number two. And that's going to be number three, and there's going to be number four, and we got number five and six. So everything is on in place. Uh, everything is lined up, as you can see, on the top left corner, but that's no problem for me. We're going to rearrange and change that with the, with, when we're going to create the animation. For now, we're going to start with the bottom layer, which is the mountain layer, all the beautiful mountains. And I want that in the animation from the beginning to the end. And I want to, mo want it to move very, very softly from the beginning to the end. My animation is going to be four seconds long. And uh, we're going to start animating this beautiful mountain, piece of mountain. We're going to do this here, position and size. That's obvious. And we're going to use the X and... We're going to create a keyframe here, which is very something that's very familiar to what you can do in After Effects. And we're going to create a keyframe again at four seconds, and we're going to move them up. There we go. Not too much. That like 50. 50 is nice. So within the animation, the mountains are moving a little bit from the beginning to the end, which is cool. Okay, next to that, we're going to... We're going to move the girl over to the position that we want her in when she's in the animation. We're, go we're going to fly this girl in within a second. But if she's there, within that second, she's going to be here. Okay? So, again, position and back to zero. And now we're going to move her out. You can do this here, you know, like so. Even if you hold down shift, it's going to be faster. Just like you're used to in every other soft piece of software from Adobe. But you can also do this by hand if you think that's more convenient. Hold down shift to not move um, from the eye direct um, uh, position. And there we go. Tick, tick. You know, that's nice. Within a second. And after that, she has to move a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Because the background's moving. And it's nice if the girl moves too. So that's something that we're going to do here. A little bit. Yes. Bam. So there's movement all around her. Okay. The big text. That's the next one that we need. Select the big text. Winter sport text. Here we go. As you can see, that's it, the 13 is uh, basically on top of the head of the girl. That's not what we want. So the end position of the big text has to be here. Yes. And she's moving to that big text. So we have to check that out. Mm. It's very, very close. Not so nice. So it has to be in there. Okay. Big text is going to be in a little bit later than the girl. Say half a second later than the girl. So that's where we go. And it's moving in fast. So it's out of the picture. Say couple of frames before the girl comes in. Here we go. Pion. Yes. Well, that's very, very nice, right? Okay, next one is the bullet. This is the bullet. The bullet's not in the right position, not in the right end position, as you can call it. So it's going to be here. No matter what, see what the girl does. Yes, yeah, not going to hit that bullet with her skis. It's not going to happen. And within a couple of frames after the big text, the bullet's going to be in there. So position and there we go for the bullets now nice thing uh, that I think uh, something that would be very nice is to rotate the bullet a little bit so we're gonna mo put some rotation in there too it's not a problem here is the rotation tool make a keyframe back to there and here we go rotate him around so it's gonna fly in there that's cool okay logo it's the next one Logo, where's the logo? Uh, let's see, logo is there. Yeah, logo is going to be here eventually. Yes, position, and we're going to move him back. Boom. So, one, there's the logo. And finally, we need to make some space and room for the URL. URL is going to be here. It's going to be very, very close to the logo, at the end animation of the logo. Here we go. And back again. And the URL is coming from that side. So, in a little bit more than two seconds, my animation is in there. And people have two seconds to watch my message before it disappears. This is my animation. If I want to check it out, I'm putting on 
press on the space bar and then I can see what happens. Okay, that's very, very nice. Still moving, very, very cool. Yes. Okay, basically this is my animation. If I want to check this out in the browser, that's also possible. But first I'm going to save this file. Save as. And we're in Tutorials Live and we're going to say, okay, this is going to be Winner Sports one .html. Save it. Why is it so important to save this now? Well, if you're not going to save this, you cannot publish it later on. But first of all, we're going to look at the, uh, the whole animation within the browser. You're going to press Command and Enter. And there we go. There's the animation. Wow. It's a little bit sticky, but at least it's my machine. It's nothing to do with the animation itself. Very, very nice. Four seconds of animation in a browser screen. Okay, and we're going to publish this sucker because it's beautiful. We love it. Back to Edge Animation, File, Publish Settings. That's the first thing we're going to see. We're going to publish them for the web, and we're going to use Google Chrome Frame, the whole shebang. Save as. And after that, it's time to publish. And right now it's published. What does that mean? Well, we're going to check this out in our folder. This is our folder. And you can see there are a couple of files here right now. It was all empty when we started, but right now it's pretty heavy there. Publish is the folder we're looking at, web. And this is basically the package that you need. HTML file with some HTML code in there that you can use and copy and paste. And a lot of JavaScript to make it all work. All your images are in there, ads included are in there. So if you put all this into your, your project, it'll work immediately. And you will have a very nice... JavaScript based HTML5 animation made in Edge animation by Adobe. There's probably a lot more to say about this, so if you have any suggestions or information, don't hesitate, send me an email. It's all, you're always welcome to do that. And I think that I'm gonna basically do some more tutorials about Edge in the future. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it all and uh, see you all later.